Hey everybody, this is Bobby Deeds, Wildlife Specialist for Record Rack Deer Feeds here today with your weekly nutrition tip. I'd like to talk a little bit today about attracting deer. Uh, we've got hunting season right around the corner, actually some parts of the country. I know in Kansas has have already opened up. I've seen some, some good deer harvested out of that state already. But uh, what our biggest challenge usually is when we got average rainfall and good habitat conditions is it's warm, it's still green, deer aren't having to move around a lot, and if you've got any kind of oak trees or mass producing trees and you start getting a lot of mast on the ground, I don't care what you're dumping out of a sack. When you've got a bunch of these guys hitting the dirt, they're just not going to come to a spin cast feeder like they normally would. So a trick that I typically employ is I'll find these trees that are close, you know, to where they've been coming into because they're still going to come to this. It's just a lot of time it's after dark or, or later. So, uh, you know, find these transition areas and those deer will hang out in these live oak trees, you know, usually till right before dark. But then what I do just to up my odds, wherever my stand is, um, find a really high concentration area and then put one of these deer blocks under it. These record rack deer blocks are the most palatable block there is. You can put this out next to any deer block that they're, that's made and at least that I've found and tried, to, tried them against. And, these will disappear first. So uh, one of the few things I found that they'll still pick on when you've got a lot of mast or acorns on the ground. So anyways, uh, and another cool thing I like to do is put your cameras on these blocks, but don't do it like we traditionally do where you're 15, 20 feet off of it. You can get some really cool picks. If you'll get about four to five feet, like this camera was, was actually on this feeder over here, but I'll put that camera on this tree and angle it down, kind of like my phone is right now. And you'll get some pictures because the deer are going to come up away from your camera, obviously. I mean, of just head and antlers just right there, boom. So really cool way to get some, some in-your-face picks, and you can really get a good idea of what those deer are going to score before you, you attempt to harvest them. So anyways, just a good trick uh, if you're, you're having trouble pulling in deer because, like I said, when it's green, I don't care how much corn you're slinging out of the feeder, they're going to be hunting these acorns. Because what's really funny, I've sat and watched this feeder the last couple of evenings, Deer will come out of the brush, they'll come to these acorn trees and vacuum all these acorns up. And then, you know, once I see either too many deer get here or they get them all picked up, then they'll filter over here. So really work with mother nature, try and concentrate it uh, in, in these uh, transition areas is what I like to call them. There's a string of live oak trees that actually run back to this thicket and they just kind of transition out to here before they go to there. So, so work in those transition areas, use your deer block and you're still gonna have some success. So hopefully this helps. If you'd like to learn more about supplemental feeding, like to learn more about Record Rack, look us up at recordrack.com, give us a call. Thank you.